Hi guys, I'm Jojo, Fairy of Love, and this week, Queen of Halloween. Ooh, do you feel the ghosts coming in? They're pretty friendly this week. Happy Halloween, everybody. I love you. This Halloween is with the moon in Pisces, so it should be pretty quiet and mellow and romantic and sentimental. And this week, the sun is in passionate Scorpio, so happy birthday to you. We love you, Scorpio, because you're so sexy and so smart and nobody can hide anything from you, right? And Halloween, you will have a ball. The moon this week will travel in the sign of Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus. This Saturday, with the moon making a very nice trine, but a square to Mercury, planet of communication, it's a very good day to speak our mind, but diplomatically, just say it the way we feel inside, especially in all relationships, and follow our conscience and be fair in negotiations. This Sunday, the moon in Aquarius and Pisces makes a very, very sweet sextile to Saturn, planet of wisdom, and Uranus, planet of change, that brings healing, a chance to make things right, and also some magic, some miracles in our lives, especially with relationships. Some of you may decide to quit a relationship and make a fresh start, and it's good. Just make sure that everything is for your best interest and fair for the other person, and everything will be absolutely magical. On Monday, the moon in Pisces makes a beautiful trine to lucky Jupiter and the sun. It brings hope and optimism in the air. So let's really, really make things right as individuals and also in society and collectively. There'll be a lot of news in the, in the government affairs and the politics, but somehow some breakthroughs in the justice. And the light sort of like um, really healing the darkness and it's all good. On Tuesday, happy Halloween to you, to everybody. Yay! With the moon in Pisces, it makes it mellow, spiritual, and there will not be too many bad ghosts. It's sort of whitey, cutie, cutie ones, and a few funny goblins, maybe. That's pretty much it. No big scary stuff. It's sort of fluffy, spiritual, mysterious, psychic, but sort of fun and mellow. Expect more treats than tricks. That's a good thing, right? On Tuesday night, especially, the dark spirits will touch the earth, okay? They will come to talk to us. For protection, this is why we need to light a candle in the pumpkin, put it inside or, and outside the house or boat, and wear a costume that expresses your soul signature to scare them off. And a sexy way this year. It has to be sexy and has to be voluptuous. A little scary, but more mellow scary. On Wednesday, the good spirits, yes, will connect with us all day long. And it's a very good time to connect with our spirit guides, our lineage, and ask for guidance. They will answer our prayers and give us all kinds of answers. On Thursday, the moon in Aries, squaring Pluto, uh, but also smiling at Saturn, planet of wisdom, helps us make good decisions and healthy choices. We're able to see what's fair for us and other people and act accordingly. That's really good. On Friday, we have a second Sun and Neptune trine, like the one we had in July 5th. Remember that time? And it's good and lucky. It stirs up our emotions, our creative and our spiritual juices. We feel all inspired and ready for all kinds of extraordinary miracles. And we need to believe in miracles that day. It encourages us also to pay homage to something bigger than ourselves because now it's all about like reinventing ourselves as people, as country, as world, and a lot of lot of beings and uh, people from other dimensions of the future are coming in the earth right now to make really things right again. It's gonna take a little while, but you'll see by 2020-23, wow, you will see America will be reborn again. Let me start with you, Scorpio. Happy birthday to you. I love you. We love you. Mm -hmm. Halloween in your creative sector makes you ambitious, adventurous, and so stronger. Maybe you had some kind of sentimental or some little loss last week, and this week you're sort of like back on your feet stronger than before. In love, embracing 
your vulnerability, your sensitivity makes you stronger. It's a very good time to promote yourself and your talents and make a fresh start in personal and professional life. Your perseverance and determination really help you brilliantly solve dilemmas. On the weekend, friends play key role and your Halloween costume should be sexy, a little scary, maybe a vampire, an exotic dancer or a gypsy. Your magical color red, lucky numbers two and eight. Sagittarius, well, Halloween in your home center makes you curious, sensitive, popular, and alert. Expect good financial news, uh-oh. Travel also is favored, in love, do things slowly, Shh, absolutely follow your heart, not your mind. Don't be logical and rational and look for a deal, look for the real thing that is based on love. That's the secret to your happiness. In career, you make things happen magically, yes, and you meet deadlines and people say thank you. A good time also to sell your products, your talents, and on the weekend, it's very peaceful, very serene. And for your Halloween costume, definitely go funny, or magician, cowboy, Indian chief, or maybe Einstein, you know, with that white wig, or a clown. Your magical color fuchsia lucky numbers, eight and 44. Capricorn, Halloween in your communication sector make you very smart, confident, and you look good too. Past experiences this week can be very beneficial now. A delicate family situation that was worrying you will turn in your favor and there's some healing about it. Clear your paperwork and make room for the new. Get ready also for some important changes in your personal and also in your professional life. And somehow it's all for the best, okay? So don't be afraid of change, embrace change. On the weekend, visualize on how to improve the quality of your life in the near future. And your best costume for your Halloween actually go very sexy. I know you're conservative, but this Halloween with the moon in Pisces, go sexy or be a sexy nurse, a sexy doctor, uh, or a sexy policeman or a judge, something like that. Your magical color, yellow lucky numbers, 9 and 27. ta -da! Aquarius, Halloween in your financial sector makes you very beautiful, magnetic. In career and business, you're doing really well. Important people notice you and try to be at your best to look really chic and powerful. This is a time also to believe in yourself. You could do anything. No place for any self-doubt. Forget about fear, insecurity. No place for that in your life. Aries, Geminis, and Cancer people really are allies. And on the weekend, magic awaits everyone. Everyone wants a piece of you. Let them. And also your best costume for Halloween, definitely something with the space. An alien, an astronaut, a wizard, a witch, a fairy. Something like, you know, with space and magic and air and magic wands. Your magical color violet, like in numbers 8 and 17. Pisces, Halloween in your sign make you the star of the week, Pisces. Ta-da! Stars and the sun also increase your willpower, intuition, and your charm. You could be pulled in two different directions, but it's sort of exciting. It sort of allows you to see what is the right choice for you. Take initiative and do things your way, especially at work. In love, serendipity and good memories and walking in the and the lane of the old days or some experiences you had before definitely in your menu this week new hobbies and some sport activities taking care of your health definitely are favored also project projects that has a creative twist to it therapy uh, travel favored and on the weekend family and friends inspire you a lot and for your halloween costume you should definitely go definitely um fishes mermaids dolphins magicians wizards or a sexy maid of some kind the sex symbol your magical color violet like in numbers 9 and 36. aries the halloween in your spiritual sector make you very sensitive and out of the box and you're sort of like coming out of your cocoon in the last two months you've learned a lot about yourself and it's time to celebrate the new you because you are more free than ever especially on Halloween, do something special, don't stay home. 
You're very popular, you're very confident and in love, ask and you shall receive in career. Many, 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 many people keep their promises. So you can ask for favors and they'll say, yes, I'm very happy to do this for you. On the weekend, passion awaits, married or single. And for your Halloween costume, we definitely go jungle, wild. Maybe Jane or Tarzan or a wild animal, a tiger, a lion, anything wild. Your magical color red, lucky numbers 9 and 36. Ta-da! Taurus, Halloween in your social sector really, really, really brings your awareness of who you are, what you could accomplish, especially financially. And it's also about maybe looking at new infinite possibilities. You attract all kinds of good fortune these days, so don't miss the boat. Your creative juice is very high. Hope is in the air in your personal life, and the stars also highlight prestige, inspiration, and tender moments. Say yes to all social invitations. They will be fabulous, especially on Halloween. On the weekend, everyone loves you, and they want to spoil you. Well, you say thank you. On Halloween, for your Halloween costume, definitely go sex symbol, femme fatale, uh, something like a Dracula or a vampire or a zombie is also appropriate. Your magical color is fuchsia, lucky numbers are 1 and 10. Gemini's, Halloween in your career sector make you very smart and very confident. Expect encouraging breakthroughs in career and the focus is on pitching, selling, promoting, increasing your revenues and in personal life, love is very important but it's all about living and letting live live and let live watch out also for synchronicities in the love department on the weekend somehow you glow like a star enjoy on halloween also you will be quite popular and for your halloween costume definitely go space star war astronaut or hollywood stars of the 30s and free bogart marlin monroe james mansfield Things like that, and you'll have a ball. Your magical color orange, lucky numbers 2 and 22. Cancers, that's me. Well, my brothers and sisters, Cancers, Halloween in your karmic house bring breakthroughs in health and relationships. Certain things are turning around in a magical way that makes you feel very special. Your energy is calmer, you're more in control of situations, and your desires also to please others is very strong. You, are, you have the ability now to really help people to share your knowledge, your talents, and your unbelievable healing powers. You are also at the right path, at the right place, at the, on the right path to the right people. The whole key is to believe in miracles and to truly uh, believe in yourself and just like promote who you are believe who you, in who you are trust a Gemini a Taurus they want what's best for you and also a Leo could do a favor for you on the weekend you're busy like a bee Bzzz. your costume for Halloween could be actually a bee or a bird or maybe a gothic kind of um, a costume or a ghost a fairy a, a little goblin or a butterfly that would be good for you or me a fairy for sure if you're a girl your magical color pink lucky numbers 3 and 21. leo halloween in your shared resources sector bring you changes in your life especially in your home personal life and great new opportunities to be more free and happier than before under your terms in career, you get new ideas and new opportunities to also make more money. And the emphasis is on reinventing yourself and putting your ducks in the row about your future. Fight also for what you deserve. Legal matters are favored. Special friends also bring you much needed support. Be smart, listen to their ideas. On the weekend, you shine like a star. On Halloween, you also are the king and the queens in some way, like the Pisces people. And for your Halloween costume, definitely go royal, king, queen, prince, political figure that you hate or love. Napoleon, not really hate, but that you don't agree with, whatever, so you could disguise yourself like them. Napoleon, Marie Antoinette, or a lion, or a cat, or a tiger. That's all good. Your magical color good, lucky numbers, 4 and 31. ta -da! Virgo, Virgo, Halloween in your relationship sector brings a sex appeal, beauty, sensuality, and awareness, and creativity. You're in the mood for adventure, aren't you? In career and studies, some delays or challenges will turn in your favor at the end of the week. You're definitely doing better and better in your appearance, and your wellness, and your health, and in love, asking you shall receive. Single people definitely 
you are now allowed to really meet some fabulous people. If you're married, it's sort of like magical. On the weekend, party time, and on Halloween, absolutely fun like you cannot believe it. And also for your Halloween costume, the best thing will definitely go scary or revealing sexy. Or maybe a dragon, a Dracula, or a fairy, or a witch. That's good too. Your magical color, violet, like in numbers, five. And 41, ta-da! Libra, Halloween in your work sector gives you wings. You feel confident and powerful. You may be saying, I want to receive. Well, guess what? Why not? You deserve to receive. You are worthy. You have a great desire also to share and to have fun. Social invitations abound, so go out and have fun. At work, delegate and in love, diplomacy with family and mate work wonders. On the weekend, you are the light of the party somehow. It's like a pre an early Halloween starts uh, this Saturday, this Sunday, and all the way through the whole week. For your Halloween costume, definitely go glamour. Super glamorous. And then glitters, voluptuous, Marlon Monroe, Elvis Presley, James Brown, anything like this that is like, wow, glamour and sexy. Your magical color, pink, lucky like numbers, six and 24. Ta-da! And now here's the wizard affirmation of this very soft, mellow Halloween week. We all wear a mask once in a while in our, in our life. Well, this week, why don't we just take it off? Let there be ourselves totally, 100%. And somehow do one thing at least that scares us. Because that's what Halloween is all about, is to really uh, learn how to face fear. Because fear is an illusion. Remember, fear is the opposite of love, all right? So when you go love, it, the fear eliminates itself. Halloween is to teach us about dealing with the universal fear of death. Okay? So I see all those nice fluffy ghosts coming out. Where do you feel them? Ooh, they are friendly and nice and soft and white. And I see little gremlins too. Do you feel them? They're all coming around now. So happy Halloween, everybody. I love you. And wear some costume that express your soul personality. Love you. Ooh, enjoy.